Need for Speed Payback. I said back like twice then. And today we are here with this R35 GTR. Now, some of you guys may notice that this is the facelifted version. This was actually in the last game. It was added as an, a DLC update. There's a few cool things with this car that you can't really do with a lot of the other cars, which I kind of want to point out. The R35. We, I think we're all, I think it's kind of fair enough to say everyone's getting a bit bored of this car. I think everyone's ready for the R36. Um, and this, in this game, there's a lot of things you can do to this car to make it a bit more interesting. It's things that I haven't seen elsewhere. So, one thing, which is really, really cool, which you can do in this game, is actually put on the old back end. So, as you guys know, the GTR had a facelift recently and it changed the whole bumpers. Essentially, you can kind of make this look like the old car, you know, if you tinker around with a lot of the customization settings. The only other car that I know of of, off the top of my head that has kind of like face swaps and like bumper swaps is obviously the 240SX or like the S13. I mean, um, you can make that look and look as look like a Silate. You can make it look like the normal car. You can do quite a lot of things with it. Um, but there's very few cars that I know of that in, in any game like in the past five years where you can actually swap like swap the front end and the back end and stuff. Something else, something that I really appreciate personally, it was like one of those things, quite quite a small thing, but it really kind of does add up when you're building a car if you can give it the back end from the old car. And the than the front end from the new car. It just looks really, really cool. And as expected, the R35 does have a lot of customizations. You can see me going through the customizations right now, and it's absolutely insane. So essentially, um, you've got your whole bunch of normal parts. You've got your part sets. I'm going to explain this again. Um, I'm, I do apologize if you've seen my other videos, and um, because I have been repeating myself a lot throughout these videos, but I would just in case if you are new to the channel, you can pretty much add any part you want to any car as long as it fits. If it doesn't fit, then you will be restricted to what parts you can add. I just want to preempt this by saying that because obviously some people might be a bit confused as why some parts are restricted. The only time it will, uh, the game will ever restrict parts is if it doesn't fit. This ability to mix and match parts was something which was lacking from the last game and it honestly adds so much. You can just see how many spoilers are in this game. It's absolutely absurd. Um, but yeah, yeah, going back to my point, it really does add a lot to the game just having the mix, mix and match in itself. So if you keep that in mind, um, you know, they've made it so you can now mix and match any part together. But as well as that, they've also added parts in the game. You can see there's Ben Sopra parts and over overtake parts. In the last game, there was Ben Sopra parts, but you couldn't really do anything with it. It, it was always, you know, in one kit and you, it was always restricted. In this game, obviously, if you put a Ben Sopra rear bumper on, you can go ahead and then put diffuser on. You can really mess around with it. And it adds so many more possibilities that weren't in the last game. And I think that's kind of one of the main things with mix and match in this game is it really just adds so many more possibilities which weren't really a thing in the last game. Um, you know, the last game, in my opinion, did have great customization and especially for this R35 GTR um, but you know having the ability to really kind of go in depth with it is something which for me is something which I was kind of asking for and something which I kind of really appreciate in this game. Now one thing I really struggled with with this build was kind of kind of finding the right parts for each thing so there's a lot of choice in this game there's a lot of choice especially with, the, with this specific car I'd say this is kind of one of the better cars for customization I'd say this is one of those cars that have definitely has definitely has quite a bit more um, and you know it's kind of on the upper echelon of customization cars. But one of the things that I really struggled with with this build was to kind of find parts that suited each other. I went through so many rims to finally get to the ones I decided. And to be honest, I'm not 100% like happy with it. I definitely could have probably done a better job. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things when you're spoiled for choice, you just I could literally spend hours making cars on this game because there is just so much choice and there's so many things you can do. Um, and I, I, I do end up finding that a lot of the time I will keep a lot of the stock parts just because it kind of looks a lot better in this video obviously it's a bit different just because I want to show you guys all the customization on offer but there is truly just a, a, so much in this game in terms of customization wise now as well as that obviously you did see me um, a minute ago stance the car down some of you may have noticed that this is an even max camber the camber if you go all the way to the right hand side is absolutely it's just ridiculous on this game and there's no track width this time around for some reason um, but obviously you've got the camber and it kind of goes down anyway with it um, but it's one of the weirdest things just looking at how stance the car can truly get again we've got plenty of videos coming along where I do fully stance out cars and that will be coming in the future a few of you may have noticed as well there was a, there was a few locks on some of the customization options on this car now obviously when we were record we were recording this and we went out to the ghost studio where they make need for speed to record this and we were on a bit of a strict time schedule we had one day to record all the footage you've seen so far um, so we didn't have time to unlock every single customization part but luckily we're not missing anything out that's too major it will be little things like headlights 
headlight tint because you can adjust the headlight tint in this game with the tail light tint. You can kind of black out your tail lights and stuff, um, and it'll be like stuff like stretching tires and different brake discs. So it's not kind of in, like huge to the customization. It's just more little things to make the car a bit better in the long term. But again, we'll have all of that when the game comes out in not too very long. So yeah. I just wanted to point out because I knew if, I knew a few people would be a bit confused to ask why there was locks on the car. So here I'm putting the finishing finishing touches on the car. Obviously messing around with the curler, also messing around with a bit of the wrap editor. This is the wrap editor in the game. Very similar to the last one, in my opinion, one of the best wrap editor, wrap editors in a game. It's just so simplistic. I find that when I go to a lot of the other wrap editors in different games, that it's very very hard and really really hard to get into. But with this one, for some reason, I'm always able to create things quite easily. Anyway, um, I did end up putting neon in this car. There's also air suspension in this game. Sadly, I can't show it off in this video but it's really really cool and we're gonna have more of that in the future and this is the final car so what do you guys think of the car and the customization and everything to do with need for speed payback let me know down in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to reply to them when i have time but that's been it for me today I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to go ahead and hit the like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one you guys have an awesome day safe and peace